Hey, good morning, guys. I just uh, want to stop on this Monday of Holy Week, the last week of Jesus' life, and just kind of think about some of the activities, some of the things that occurred in Jesus' life this week. Yesterday, we, we looked at the triumphal entry, with how Jesus came into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey and declared himself as king. That, that, that in that simple uh, act, of, of riding on a donkey, he declared that he was the Messiah, the one they've been uh, long waiting for. Uh, but, but they missed him. You know, so many uh, of the people in, in the crowd that they missed that uh, who Jesus it was. And, and so he comes back to Jerusalem on Monday. And he he came in and then he went back out and he stayed in Bethany. We, we, likely probably his friends, uh, uh, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus' house. And stay. Imagine that he stayed with them. And he gets up on Monday and he goes back to Jerusalem to, to take part in uh, in the activities of the week. You know, the Passover is this week long celebration. It's, uh, there's uh, a lot of things leading up to it, and and the the, the, the whole week is just sitting around remembering. Uh, uh, God led the, 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 the Israelite nation uh, out of Egypt uh, when they were in slavery. And, and so Jesus uh, comes uh, to, to, to back into town. He goes into the temple. And there in the temple he sees, and he's seen this on his various trips, um, but he sees uh, the merchants uh, likely lined up in the court of the Gentiles. And there would be uh, money changers because you couldn't use you couldn't use Roman money in the temple. I've been using uh, money uh, with, a, with, with, a, with a foreign, with, a, with kind of an idol, with a, with a foreign uh, god on it. So you had to exchange it for temple money. And not only that, but then you, 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 you have um, uh, probably people uh, buying and selling uh, animals for, uh, for, for the sacrifices that you'd make. And maybe you were, had brought one from home, or maybe uh, you, you came planning to buy one because you know, it, it's, it might be hard to trans, transport an animal that far and keep it pure. And maybe there were some shenanigans going on with uh, the Jewish leaders about uh, which animals were pure and which ones were not. And you know, maybe they, they, they would find something. That you, you almost uh, kind of get this, this used car kind of idea that maybe they thought, oh, you know, how do we know that your sheep didn't? step on something that was would have made it unclean. Or maybe they found just a, a, a speck of dirt that they, they had gotten just walking on the road and so instead of having instead of you having washed and, and, and cleansed they, they say, well it's not good enough and they trade yours and you know take yours on trade and have you buy another one and who knows if then it's taking that sheep right around and maybe clean it off a little bit and turn it around and sell it to the next guy. But she sees these shenanigans going on. And he comes in and he and he sees them and he flips their tables and he runs them out and he says that that my house, my temple, must be a temple of prayer and not a den of robbers. And I wonder if this morning, as we think about Jesus cleansing the temple, if we take the Apostle Paul's words to heart when he says that our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. That our temple, that our body is God's temple. That we're in the life and the heart of the believer. That this is where God reigns. That where God lives. And this week, does He want to do some cleansing in our life? Are there some things that He needs to turn over? Are there some things that He needs to uh, change, to shake up, to to make more like Him? That we might, that our life might be more a life of prayer. That our life might reflect him and his glory and his intentions and many of us are kind of feeling locked up and cooped up and, and maybe that gives us a little bit extra time just to stop and to pause and, and to reflect on what God wants to do in our life hey let me pray for you guys father I thank you I thank you for this week that we get to reflect and remember at your sacrifice for us father I pray that today that you would do your cleansing work in our life in our hearts that you would use us to be an example of others who are in pursuit of you. Father, we thank you that you gave yourself as the ultimate sacrifice for us, that we might know grace and hope and love. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, I love you guys. I'm praying for you. And I hope you have a great day.